Now the Honorable Dr. Al Van's life and legacy being celebrated today at Boys and Girls High School, which he helped to create. The former city councilman and assembly member passed away last month. His family says he left an impression on so many people. News 12's Mary Lynn Buckley joining us now from today's celebration in Bed-Stuy. Al Van grew up right here in Brooklyn and a ton of people today showing up for him, remembering the life that he led and the legacy that he leaves behind. Many people here saying that Al was never one to shy away from giving back to his community. In fact, they say it was his life mission. Drummers entering today's ceremony, followed by the people that knew Dr. Al Van best, holding his photos in their hands. Many people in the crowd wearing white with African colors. Al's wish was that his life be celebrated. Our grandfather changed the trajectory of many lives and created paths and opportunities for more people than we need now. Dr. Al Van came from a teaching background well before he even ever got involved in politics. He also served on both city council and state assembly and was the co-founder of the African Americans Teacher Association. His former lieutenant says he left behind quite the legacy. He needs to be celebrated because he was the inspiration. When there were liberation movements and the black power movement and the civil rights movements were going on all around the country and, and internationally, he started our own empowerment movement right here in Brooklyn. Dr. Al Van's family yeah. taking turns yeah. sharing yeah. stories yeah. about the life he led. Some of those included that he was a big traveler, he loved jazz music, and also enjoyed playing basketball. Everyone thinking of Al's family tonight. It was his wish for everyone to come together and celebrate the life he led instead of mourning his loss. We're in Bed-Stuy. Mary Lynn Buckley, News 12.